Android 13 is here. So what's new? What are the new features and changes? Let me tell you all about it. So this is the Pixel 6 running Android 13 developer preview one. And actually there's no mention of Android 13 anywhere. Instead, it's called Tiramisu here, as you can see. So maybe Google is just going back to desert names or maybe it's just an internal name. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the visual changes first. So Android 12 brought the whole material U revamp and Android 13 kind of builds up on that. The first thing I noticed is some new quick settings toggles. There's now a toggle to enable and disable the one-handed mode quickly. And once this is on, I can swipe down on the bottom to bring the screen lower. Another new toggle is color correction. And there's also a new toggle to quickly scan QR codes. Now it's disabled by default, but I think this will arrive in the future releases because this is pretty handy. Apart from the quick setting toggles, the media player in the notification shade has gone through some changes. Instead of the thumbs up and down buttons, it now has a repeat and shuffle instead. The media output picker UI has also changed. It now shows you the different devices along with the slider to increase or decrease the volume. The picture in picture mode now has a split screen button. Here's a YouTube video playing in PIP and when I'm in a separate app, it gets the split screen button that I can just tap to move YouTube into the split screen. Yeah, this is cool. Apart from that, I'm not sure if this is new, but I noticed this always show keyboard option in the app drawer, which will open up the keyboard when you open up the app drawer. And a lot of other launches have this, so this is good. Android 13 also includes all of 12L's UI changes like the quick wallpaper picker in the home screen. Android 13 also supports themed app icons for third party apps. Now themed app icons are these icons that go with the whole dynamic theming feature and they also change when the dark mode is on. And now developers just need to supply a monochrome app icon and they will support this themed icons feature. The guest mode on Android is pretty handy be it on phones or tablets, but sometimes your guest needs access to more apps other than the stock Android apps like say Netflix. In Android 13, you can just go to the multiple users settings and then go to guest. And now you can install the apps available in your account in the guest mode. I can just enable Netflix here and now I can go to the guest mode. And as you can see, Netflix is here. Now one thing to note, the guest won't share your data or account details. So the guest will need to sign into the accounts in the apps. You know how iOS makes sure that apps don't get access to all of your files, just the files you choose? Well, Google is bringing that with Android 13. See, right now when you're uploading a photo on an app, it asks for access to all the files and media. Yeah, that's changing. With Android 13, this is how it's gonna work. Yeah, it's not live in this preview, but as you can see, it says at the top, this app will only have access to the photos you select. This is good and it'll work the same way when sharing documents or any other files. A lot of people said their system phone language to English, but they want to use some of their apps in their own regional language. Well, Android 13 will let you change languages on a per app basis. So rather than apps having their own language settings, Android 13 will have its own app languages page. Again, this is not live in the developer preview, but as you can see in these screenshots, you'll be able to go to app languages and change the language on a per app basis. This is useful, especially in countries like India with so many languages. Android 13 also brings some more interesting features here and there. For example, if you still use the navigation buttons, you can now disable the long press on the home button to access Google Assistant. I know how annoying it was to activate Google Assistant by mistake by pressing down the home button, so this is good. The quick tap feature, aka the double tap on the back now supports flashlight. So now you can double tap on the back to turn on the torch even when the phone is locked. Yeah, this is awesome. Next up, silent mode actually silences everything now, including the vibration haptic feedback. I can turn on the silent mode and as you can see, the haptic option is disabled. Apart from this, Android 13 will let apps bring a prompt so that we can add a quick tile for the app. The privacy dashboard will get an option to show you data from the last week. There's also a number of tablet specific features. The taskbar now supports six apps. Lock screen rotation is now enabled on tablets. Now there's also a number of performance and under the hood improvements in Android 13, but I think we'll get a better idea once the stable release arrives. So I'm gonna wait for that. As for when Android 13 is actually coming, well, we are looking at a beta release sometime in April and the stable release should arrive in August. Anyway, those were all the cool new features in Android 13's first developer preview. And it's clear that this does not bring a huge revamp or anything because Android 12 already brought that. But yeah, this is good and hopefully we'll see more features in the coming releases. Anyway, which Android 13 feature did you like the most? Comment down below. Also give this video a like, make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.
Guys, I've just won 25 lakh rupees. Yes, this message says that I've won 25 lakh rupees from KBC.